So I wanted to go over the uh, house generator, or at least part of it. There's a lot to this, the way this thing's set up, but really all I'm wanting to cover at this moment is how it runs on propane. Uh, as far as feeding this thing, it's incredibly easy. This is just what it looks like, a copper tube that passes through the air cleaner and into the carburetor. It goes right past the choke because when you feed something a blast of propane, you don't need to worry about choking gasoline into it. Uh, the tube stops just shy of the uh, throttle butterfly so that the uh, throttle still functions. But other than that, this is just a copper tube that goes up into the carburetor. I've drilled a few holes in it uh, to act like a diffuser. I'm not convinced that makes any difference whatsoever. As far as moving up the line, I'm running a Gerritsen Model KN, which is an on-demand regulator, uh, which for my purposes of uh, a remote start generator, I definitely want that because it's tied into the propane system on my house. Uh, I will be adding a uh, solenoid uh, switch to be able to uh, switch this gas on and off remotely. I've got it where I can just cut it out of the system that way because this regulator will not uh, prevent gas from feeding uh, randomly uh, when the generator's not running. At least that's my experience. Uh, the wires on here are a electric primer, which I also don't even need. Um, as far as a unit that is going to be monitored, like just a standby generator that you're going to go fire up that you want to run on propane, you don't even need all this. <laughs> you can just uh, set it up the way that I've set up my little uh, two-wheel tractor and I'll show you that here in just a second. So this is uh, about a 1955 Simplicity two-wheel tractor with a sickle mower on it. Uh, it's also got this horrific uh, old Briggs carburetor. I forget what these are called but I've rebuilt this, I've kitted it and I, I can get it to run for a while and then it starts acting up and leaking fuel in strange places. So I finally just had enough and I drilled a hole through the end of it and put a little copper tube in that goes up uh, to the throttle butterfly. Got a rubber hose connected to it that just comes right up to this uh, propane tank with a knob on it to adjust the flow. So by adjusting the throttle on the uh, carburetor and the knob on the uh, propane, I get air mixture here, fuel setting here. It's not hard to find the sweet spot. Thing runs great. But uh, that's about all there is to set uh, up a small gas engine to propane. Uh, you don't necessarily need the Garretson, although it is nice, but it's a hundred bucks. Uh, but this rig right here works just fine for something with a set speed. You can't beat it.